Okay, in the first tutorial we looked at customising your community area network newsletter. In this one we're going to actually look at editing the content before you send it out to your, to your network. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is to open up the template so that we can edit it. So what we've got to do is to create a new email and then we've got to open the template. To do open the template you go up to the top left of your email screen and click on the office button. From the menus that is displayed click the right hand menu and choose option 8 which is choose form. Click on choose form and then from the dialog box make sure that your personal libraries your personal forms library is selected and then highlight your newsletter template and open it. And there we have it inserted into your email or ready to go. You might want to take your normal salutations off of the bottom of that uh, if you've if you've got them in your, let's just get rid of those. I don't know why I've got so many. What am I doing? Rubbish, 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 rubbish. Okay, so there's the template ready for you to edit. Now, what we've got to do is edit the content in this table. Now, to the best way to to before you start uh, editing this template is to click into the template anywhere, and you'll see that on the top of the email, you've got a number of tabs are highlighted. You can then uh, select the layout tab okay so click on layout and click on view grid lines that will display the grid lines that make up the template it display the text boxes that you can use now I thought I just find this makes it much easier to cut and paste the content in without wrecking the template and finding that everything looks a real mess so I would turn on those grid lines okay once you've done that, just return back to your CAN Newsletter tab and we're ready to start editing the content. Now, in the first box, I've included two what I call headline items. These are perhaps two of the most interesting items that have been posted on your blog site in the last couple of weeks. So to insert those, first of all, you've got to go to your blog. So here we are in Amesbury. Go to the home page to find the headline news. Right. So select those stories, it might be one story, it might be two stories, it might be more. Or you might want to write your own stories, it's completely up to you. But I'm going to highlight these two uh, stories to be my headline stories. So I find highlighting these stories from the bottom upwards is much easier um, than trying to do it from the top down. Don't ask me why that happens, but it's easier. Okay, so highlight the stories you want to in insert. Once they're highlighted, right click on them and click on copy. Now if you return to your template, right, that took me on the wrong time, sorry, but if you return to your own template, all you do then is highlight the stories you want to replace, right click again and paste, and that will import the stories from your website. That will also preserve the links that are included in those stories. So now people will be able to click on those links and read the full story on your blog. It's also inserted the pictures. I don't want the pictures because they make things rather clunky. I'm taking those out. So let's get rid of the pictures. And I don't think we need the dates, all a bit superfluous. So let's just remove those and any gaps. Fiddle with the formatting slightly to make it look attractive. And there you now have two stories inserted into your newsletter ready to go. Okay, now the thing you'll notice is that they don't necessarily um, line up exactly with the formatting of the template. So all you have to do is to highlight the text and bring it all into line. There we go. Very neat. And you know I'm a stickler for neatness. So there we are. We now have your two headline stories inserted. You may want to just check the text reads right, right or to make any changes you want to to that text. The next thing is to include the short links to the, to the news items on your blog. So again, we go back to your blog site. And this time we want to select the short links in this section of the newsletter. Again, I work from the bottom up much easier. Highlight them all right click and copy 
and then we return to your newsletter, highlight the links in your newsletter, right click and paste. Now you'll see that it's imported quite a lot of rubbish so we want just to tidy that up by taking out the little bits and pieces that it's included. That will tidy that up. Okay, any rogue bullets that have appeared. And there we have your text imported. Now we want to just create that as a bulleted list. So highlight the text and click on the bullets. And you might just want to move those bullets so it's lined up. Perfect. There we are. We now have the bulleted list of short links to your content. We've now edited all of the stuff, all of the news is now in, it's almost ready to go. Now you will see now that there are some slight anomalies in terms of the colour scheme. We've got blue here for the headings and we, blue text here. We don't want that. If, you're, if your newsletter is olive then we want to change that. So it's easy, just select the text and select the colour scheme from the palette. In this case we're using olive, so we use olive. Highlight, change it all to olive, and then we're ready to go. You can see that all of the text has been amended, all of the template is now ready to go. These links are live, you can just hover over them, you can test a few if you're concerned, but it's now ready just to send to your network. Just add the, the names from your email list into the BCC field, add in your own name to the to field, and send away to your community area network. Now one thing I would do, once you've got to this stage and you've changed all the fonts and the colours and everything is absolutely spot on, is to save it again. I would save it again as a template because then I'll save you having to do that every time you do it. So just to remind you how we save it as a template, we simply go to the developer option tab on the top of the email again, click on publish, publish form as and you can select your newsletter and it will overwrite it. So highlight the newsletter, publish, and it will save it. That's now saved as a template. And let's just see if that works. We'll just close that down. And just reminding you how to open it up. We create a new email. Let's get rid of my name because that kept coming up. We will then click on the office button, select choose form, go to your personal forms library, select your CAN newsletter, open it and you'll see all the changes you've made have been saved and all the formatting is now absolutely spot on, ready to go. So you can just send it out. There you go. How to do your community area network newsletter in less than five minutes. Thank you very much.